What is this madness? The surge of furious and indignant investigation. Why are so many increasingly daring to question that which is supposed to be unquestionable? To challenge the core consensus of that which our modern advanced society claims to know? Are they simply going slowly insane? Or maybe just fools? Are they the tragic victims of a sadly inadequate education? Or is it maybe something else? Have they instead perhaps stumbled upon a most unexpected yet liberating realization? The realization that our most fundamental of human faculties have in fact not been rendered obsolete by this accumulation of so-called higher knowledge and the staggeringly simple conclusion that our own senses and observations can indeed be trusted. For it is truly this question of trust which itself propels so much of this controversy, so much of this zetetic madness. Because we live in a day and age whereby we are taught from birth to put our blind faith in the sum total of humanity's accomplishments, and to trust wholeheartedly in the assumption that collectively mankind's inevitable progression is always in the direction of truth and understanding. Yet in this period of history exists a growing minority of those of us who have been forced to concede that this is certainly not always the case. To wake up and recognize that this idolatry of our own selves is in fact a very fertile soil for mixing science with fallacy and confusing knowledge with presumption. And so this rediscovered zetetic ethic, this ethos, it is the rejection of this unspoken cultural code which implies that the pursuits of scientific observation and experimentation are no longer the purview of the ordinary individual, and that all relevant scientific inquiry has now been relegated to the realms of government institutions, peer-reviewed academia, and corporate interests. We must insist on never overlooking the inherent danger of making the misguided assumption that none of these public or private establishments could ever be abused, whether by simple error or malicious intention. And so we seize back for ourselves the simple right to question, to test, to inquire, to verify. What's more, we insist on never again surrendering the value and validity of our own personal observations, direct experiences, and our own inherent cognitive abilities and degrading them once more to being sources of insight that are considered inferior to the theoretical speculations and mathematical abstractions being pushed from every ankle by this monolithic system. We believe that the simple freedom to question and test everything is in fact the most effective antidote against the ceaseless agenda of indoctrination. And this, I believe, is what lies at the heart of this zetetic philosophy. It is something which touches so much more than just the matter of the shape of the earth, the nature of the cosmos, or all questions of a scientific nature. It encompasses practically everything which holds meaning and importance in the course of human experience. We are by nature questioners, and when this freedom to question is removed, whether by overt action or more often by sway of social conformity, this is what paves the way for true science to degrade into scientism and for authentic democracy to erode into mob rule. We question because we recognize that at the end of the day, we really have nothing of consequence to lose by doing so. But on the other hand, we have potentially an unimaginable amount to lose if we do not.